Hello and welcome to another update from James Lawson Smith. Now today we're going to be covering the YouTube homepage and going over the different modules that are available. Now when you log into your account, you can click on add remove modules and this will take you to your account settings and it will automatically select the customize homepage option. Now you can get to this by clicking on your name and then account and clicking on customize homepage. It's both the same option. So you can either turn off or turn on any of the modules and then just hit save. And it'll tell you settings or cha changes have been saved. So I'm going to go to the homepage and do a quick run through of the different modules. Now the modules can appear in various different orders uh, according to your preference. You can use the up and down arrows. Use the up arrow obviously to move it up and down arrow just to move it down there. Now the first module I have is the Insight Statistics and Data. There are two of these modules and they display slightly different data. Now the first one that I have up is Major Changes and that tells you major changes in your video. So basically on mine, Second Life Porn and Gambling is being viewed 100% more than it was this time last week. And the Google Verizon deal video that I did is down 49% um, in comparison to last week. Uh, you also get an insight into your videos were most popular in and then what countries in order you know your videos were most pop were mostly being viewed from you also have a quick insight graph which shows you your total views for that week so if you click on that that will actually take you to your insight menu and will automatically select sort of that week that week and then you can sort of select more and see how many you've done for the past couple of months or you can click on the option and select exactly what date views that you want to go from. So back to the home page there. And the second insight menu gives you a, a bigger graph showing you what, what your view total view videos were for the last seven days. Gives you your top three most watched videos. Uh, again, your major changes and your videos were most viewed in. And then what countries your videos were most viewed in. Now the next option that I have is my subscriptions module. Now in here this shows the latest videos from people that you're subscribed to. And on this one you have an edit option. So you can go into edit. And you can change the way that it is displayed. You can either have a grid view or a list view. And then under list view you can either show just one of the videos. Or you can go all the way up to 12 and you can you know, see all of your videos. And then you can go through into grid view and you have the option of having one, two or three grids. And you can also either exclude videos I've already watched, which is the default option, or you can go and uncheck this and turn it off. And then when you save the videos that you haven't watched, or sorry, videos that you have watched will come back again. Then the next one that I have is the spotlight video. Now each week, YouTube decide to sort of do a spotlight on a certain type of video or a certain channel and this is where you can see so sort of this week they've got the Youth Olympic Games so it'll have the Youth Olymp Olympic Games sort of channel there this is the one for Singapore 2010 and then different videos from that channel now each week they sort of change this around I think uh, they change it sort of every couple of days and I think yesterday they had some fight night thing up. Anyway, the next one that I have is recommended for you. Now these videos are based on other videos that you've already watched. So basically if you watch uh, one video, it will recommend other videos based on your viewing experience. So here's one that I basically I watched one stop motion light painting and they recommended that I have a look at how to make your video look like film because apparently they're related in some way. Um, again, you can edit your options there. You can go from grid view to list view. And in list view, you can have 1 through to 12. And grid view is 1 through to 3. So if you just close that, that will save the settings. Now, the next one that I have is recent activity. Now, this will show you recent activity of people that you're subscribed to. So again, you have the edit option. You can go from 1 through to 12. And directly here, you can edit the subscription for any of the people that you're subscribed to. So I can go to edit subscription and 
At the moment, it's selected all videos uploaded, rated, favorited, and commented on by, and then what your what the subscriber or your subscription is. Sorry, um, you can change it to only videos uploaded by or unsubscribe from, and then just hit update. So I'm going to actually change that to only videos uploaded. So update and close. So I'm going to scroll down and featured videos is my next one. Now this shows that uh, that day's featured videos for the day. Uh, you have no edit options for that, unfortunately. Uh, the next one that I have is videos being watched now. So basically each time you refresh the page, these will change and will show you videos that are currently being watched. And again, you have an edit option so you can change to a grid view. A slightly different type of grid view and also your list view now in list view again you have one you can display 1 through to 12 and grid view is 1 through to 3 the advanced grid view doesn't have any options at all so again I'm going to close that and save the settings now underneath that I have most popular so this shows you the most popular video in different sections you've got sort of entertainment music how to and all the different sections, there's not much of a change there. Then the final one that I have is videos near you. Now this is based on the hometown that you have set in your account settings. Now you can change this, so I'm going to change it to New York and then update location and then it will show me videos are being uploaded in New York. Now when you do do this it will change your hometown in your settings. So if I go to my channel, and if I scroll down, if you have a look, it will change your hometown to whatever the hometown you have set on your homepage. So that's just something to be, be aware of. It will also, if you change it in your account settings, you change your hometown, it will affect the module that's on the main homepage. So it's just something for you guys to be, be aware of. So that was a, a quick overview of the YouTube homepage. If you like these sorts of videos and want to be kept up to date of all the sort of changes and things happening and groovy going on at YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel, James Lawson Smith. If you have any questions about sort of the changes or, you know, just want to know how to use some of the features or, you know, want to know where some of the features have disappeared or, disappeared disappeared to uh, you can send me a message on my channel via the Google moderator option that I have just underneath the video on my main page uh, so please comment on this video you know let me know what you guys think please thumbs up and favorite the video if you like uh, you've been watching James Lawson Smith and thank you very much for watching